Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another Unity tutorial and in this one I'm gonna show you how you can make a high score for your Unity game. So let's actually get right into it. Uh, I've created a new scene here and I'm just going to right click in the hierarchy and make a new UI button. Um, this is not necessary for what you are for. Um, for this, it's not necessary that you make that button. I just want to make um, a score counter. So, um, so what I simply want to do is when you press that button, your score goes up by one. What you do need to do for this tutorial is make a UI text here. And just here, so you can see it better, I'm going to make it white. And this will actually be our score counter. I don't know why you can't see it here. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now you can actually see it. Perfect. So this will be our score counter. And once we click that button, uh, we can actually see our score. And then we want to copy this text and make it our high score counter. So this is basically what we want to do here. So the next thing is we're going to create a C sharp script here. And we can just call it um, score or no, let's just call it high score, uh, high score. So let's just open that up in Visual Studio. So once you're in Visual Studio, we can begin by making a public um, float and we just call it score and oops, I forgot here. No. Nope. Of course, don't forget that. Uh, and a public float uh, high score. So, what I uh, want to do too here, why is this not working? Um, public float. It's, oh yeah, it's named like that. Okay. Um, let's just then call it. Uh, high score like that. Okay, now it's fine. Um, the next thing I want to do is make a public um, text, but um, we need to type in using Unity Engine, Unity Engine dot UI. Perfect. Uh, so what we want to do then is make a public text, and we can just call it. Uh, score text um, we want to copy that and paste it here and this one we can call high score text um, we also want to do a public or uh, uh, actually yes a public void and I'm just going to call that add score a uh, score Perfect. Oops. Now, perfect. So in the add score, we can just do um, score plus plus sc score plus plus. Perfect. Um, and now once we um, click on our button, then we will call this add score and it will add one to our score. Um, let's just save that. Uh, in the update, what we can do is say score text, score text um, is equal to score and dot to string. And oops. Uh, once you have that, uh, why is it not working? Hmm. Ah, yes, I know why it's not working. Score text dot text. Um, yes, now if we save that and go out, um, let's just add another empty game object and call that uh, score manager. Good, and now we can drag the script into the score manager. And here we can actually see our score text. And for our score text, we want to use this one here. So the upper one, and now uh, the button 
we can go to the button and add a on-click event and reference the score manager and then here we go to high score and just uh, add a score and now if we hit play we should be able to see here once we click that button our score goes up by one and of course we do want to save the high score so because once we go out you can't actually see what our high score was so we're gonna add that now um here so let's go back into the script and now what we want to do is make the yes, first thing what we can do is uh say high score text dot text dot text uh is equal to high score dot to string so don't forget that um yes i'm just gonna save that here real quick and then what we're gonna do next is we will work with player prefs so this is one thing that is really easy to use it's very easy to save stuff with player um prefs but it's not really secure so someone who really knows how games and yeah unity games work can easily go into the data of the game and change some values so someone can easily manipulate uh, your scores and something so i wouldn't use it for something maybe that costs real money or something but uh, for this we can use it because it's way easier than any other method so what we can do here is on the update we'll say player prefs dot set a float um we we'll just call it we we'll, we will call it high score yes and we want to set our uh, float high score to our score um perfect should be working if we add a comma here perfect so of course we only want to set our high score if our score is actually uh, higher than our current high score so we're gonna type in if our score is bigger than our high score then we want to do this so x and y perfect um so only if our high score is actually lower than our score we will actually set the high score so on the start we will actually say our high score uh, is equal uh yes is equal to player prefs dot get float high score so that should be working um i just check it should actually be working right now so let's just test that real quick mm. let's just save and save project and here we can drag in our high score text so it should be zero right now um yes zero zero and we just say three is our high score uh, i don't think it's working and it's actually working it was working so three is our high score zero is our current score now we'll say seven so seven is our current score three is our high score if we go out of unity and go back in then seven is our new high score but if we only have five this time and we go out and we go in again then it shouldn't save yes it's still seven so that's basically a very simple high score system you can use for simply every game actually so yes um that was actually it for this tutorial i hope you liked it if you did you can of course leave a like on the video and subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next one